something for my guys on Elijah and little girl named Corinne. Man, you coming at me for my music, but you listen to this old stuff. Old stuff? What? You better get up out of here with all that pockets of truth. Well, I got a boyfriend. Yeah, I heard, but it's all good. Really? We've been together our whole lives, Star. We got time. My name is Star. Two R's. Daddy named me that. Garden Heights. Mama and Daddy says our life is here because our people are here. We got Mr. Rubin's Barbecue, Mr. Lewis's Barbershop, and Daddy's Store. The high school is where you go to get junk, high, or pregnant. We don't go there. Williamson is another world, so when I'm here, I'm Star version 2. Yo, those kids are lit! Basically, Williamson Star doesn't give anyone a reason to call her ghetto. And I hate myself for doing it. Until the weekend comes around. I get those goosebumps every time. What's up? Where you been at? I, mean, I know, you be hanging with all the white kids. Shut up. Out of the car. Yo, Star, you okay? Go back where he told you. Khalil, I'm not playing. Go back where... <laughs> what did you do? Today, Garden Heights is reeling after the shooting of a 17-year-old black teenager by a white police officer. We live in a complicated world. It doesn't seem that complicated to me. Violence, brutality. It's the same story, just a different name. When I attack with impact, it's real tactful. The back cat waited and sat, debated to... It's best if she don't talk to father. He's threatening her. It's about more than just Khalil. It's about black people, poor people, everybody at the bottom. I need to speak for him. You would think we could never achieve the inconceivable. We don't belong, but we here unbelievable. When you're ready to talk, you talk. Don't ever let nobody make you be quiet. I ain't named you Star by accident. It is painful for us to see so many children starving. Building these houses for them helps us to create a country that we always dreamed about. That day, I decide that I don't care how Pablo makes his money. Only how he uses it. Illegal cocaine is coming into our country at alarming levels. One kilo is worth $7,000 here in Colombia. In the United States, it's worth 150000 Welcome, Agent Jeffrey. They don't fear the judges in Colombia. They've killed them. I saw your interview with Mr. Escobar. What can you tell me about him? You will give him pretty in person. Then I'll have to fire my makeup girl. I'll take you with him when he goes down. You know that, don't you? Pablo Escobar has been elected. Long live Colombia and our motherland. This is a disgrace. This man is an insult to every Colombian. You have money, Pablo. What more do you want? Respect. You're headed straight for suicide. You are coming with me. You'll be the one who will tell the story. To whom? There won't be anyone left to hear it. How do we know you are really Pablo Escobar? I will prove it to you by blowing up your station. Hey, what do you think? Would that be enough? You're marked for life. Help us. In exchange for what? Now listen to me. You're going to bleed until you die. I've seen things, Paolo, while I was with you. No, I don't even know what I'm saying. I have bad news for you. Nobody will get near you because they will be afraid that I will kill them. Call the police. Where are you going? I don't want to get in trouble. Just say no. Our music and dancing connects us. From the very first beat to the very last echo.
Are you back for good? I'm here for business. We all know that gentrification is a dirty word in this city. You turned your back on your family for a payout. This change isn't for us. It's to remove us. Se rumora que salimos a cazar, que andamos en máscara. If one building stands firm, it can't complete the project. This ain't no step up. At least we doing something. It's double the market price. The two languages, no y no. Judy, what the hell are you doing? How hard would you fight for everything your father believed in? The New York Salsa Throwdown is in two weeks. This can help us reach our goal. There's something worth preserving here. You go to your brother. You need him. They could turn off all these lights and tear all this down. We still gonna shine. ruin. Why does it hold such a fascination? Your appreciation has been most intelligent. <laughs> I congratulate you on the success of your performance. What I'm saying is that I have lived in the grip of vice and pleasure. Oscar Wilde. The sentence of the court is that you be imprisoned and kept to hard labor for two years. It was wrong, and I have paid. We'll make a Catholic of you yet. Only unlike dear Jesus, you have luggage. I fully intend to effect a reconciliation with my wife. I feel sure that if I was to see him once, I would forgive him everything. And rest assured, I shall never see Lord Alfred Douglas again. I forbid him to live with that infernal man. Oscar, let's run away. Someone no one could find us. You don't know what you're saying. <laughs> then you will never see Constance again. Not wearing your silk stockings today, Oscar. <laughs> you go too far, sir. No, you go too far. You've taken everything! My family, my work, my freedom, everything! There's nothing left to take! Suffering is nothing when there is love. Love is everything. I must, I must love, love and be loved. Be loved. But at the price I pay for it. Mr. Wilde? I'm kind of you to speak to me. You couldn't lend me five pounds, could you? I'm in mortal combat with this wallpaper, Robbie. One of us has to go. When I tried it, I felt better than I ever had, so I just kept on doing it. Why? I don't know. I thought we were closer than most fathers and sons. <laughs> this isn't stop. us. This is not who we just are. Just both of you, stop. There are moments that I look at him and I wonder who he is. How's our boy, David? I'm not giving up now. Never. It's you. You always gotta be controlling everything. It doesn't make any sense. You're controlling me right now. It's you. Let us help you. I don't want you to help. Don't you understand that? I had such grand plans. He'd graduate from college, do something amazing. And now I just want him to not die. Who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad. Here, this is who I am. If you could take all the words in the language, it still wouldn't describe how much I love you. I love you more than everything. I'm really sorry, Dad. It's hard as hell to get sober. But I love my family. 
I want them to be proud of me. I understand how scared you are. It'll pass, though. It always does. Nick, what do you have? Is extraordinary. And you're gonna get it back. You're gonna find it again. God, give me the strength to get through the next three days, please. Amen. Hallelujah to that. Today, the government announced an initiative to have Americans sign something they are calling the Patriots Oath. The deadline for signing is the day after Thanksgiving. This is not the America that I know. Christopher, we said we're not talking politics. I'm not gonna ruin Thanksgiving, I promise. Rest assured. You are Nazis! My favorite thing about liberals, as soon as they're triggered, they call everyone a Nazi. Oh, shut up, Katie. No politics. You treat people who don't agree with everything you say like they're morons. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You're a moron. Shut up! Came oh, back to get some ties. Holy shit! <laughs> My house, bitch! Hey, I want to just one more time say I'm, I'm really sorry you got tased. I don't know if it's because it's the electricity in my body, but I am freaking out! Just these. I don't want the others. Come on, man. I slept these all the way here. There's people waiting. You know, you don't have to be so disrespectful. You've actually carried my books here. And you are? Lee Israel. Oh, we have copies of your latest work right over there. Nobody is going to pay for the writer Lee Israel right now. I'm months behind in my rent, and my cat is sick. It's four in the afternoon, and you're drunk. I'm hardly drunk. Craig, no problem. My suggestion to you is you go out there and you find another way to make a living. Recently found this delightful sign letter. Fanny Bryce, one of my favorites. I could give you 75. Oh. I could give more for better content. It's a bit bland is all. Yeah, I can definitely get a lot more for this one. I mean, the PS makes it priceless. Quite by accident, I find myself in a rather criminal position. What criminal activity could possibly involve it, except a crime of fashion, of course? I'm embellishing literary letters by prominent writers. I love his writing. Particularly clever, don't you think? Caustic wit. <laughs> this is quite something. These are wonderful. I thought so, too. Name your price. You were looking at one month's rent. What are we going to do? Gamble? Shop? Drink? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Israel, let me have a couple of questions regarding the last letter I purchased. Uh -oh. What seems to be the problem? People are on alert. Your name's been put on a list. On a list? They're literary treasures. One of a kind. It's my writing. You're impersonating other people. Nobody's buying Lee Israel letters. There have been some forgeries going around. Do you think it's real? Looks that way. Good. You're stealing from me? Come on. Get out of my house! That's just supposed to be something more than this. We're probably looking at some time behind bars. What? I can't say that I regret any of my actions. In many ways, this has been the best time of my life. at the age before guys become dicks. You think you're pretty cool. You good? Your ghetto ass friends. You're just a little kid. You all right? A lot of the time, we feel like our lives are the worst, but I think if you looked at anybody else's closet, 
you ain't trade your shit for their shit. So let's go. That's why we ride a piece of wood, what that does to somebody's spirit. So cool. Yo, Stevie is saying. <laughs> <laughs>